Nice to see you all again. Welcome back to our mixed grammar quiz. Let's get started. 1. Which of the following sentences is grammatically correct? A. He don't like to eat vegetables. B. She doesn't likes to eat vegetables. C. They doesn't like to eat vegetables. D. She doesn't like to eat vegetables. The answer is, D, she doesn't like to eat vegetables. Explanation. The correct form of the third person singular present tense of the verb, to like, is, likes, the correct sentence structure is subject plus auxiliary verb plus main verb. Therefore, she doesn't like to eat vegetables, is grammatically correct. 2. Choose the sentence with the correct use of the semicolon. A. I enjoy reading, books are a great source of knowledge. B. I enjoy reading. Books are a great source of knowledge. C. I enjoy reading, books, are a great source of knowledge. D. I enjoy reading, books, are a great source of knowledge. The answer is, A. I enjoy reading, books are a great source of knowledge. Explanation. A semicolon is used to connect two independent clauses that are closely related in meaning. In this sentence, both parts before and after the semicolon are independent clauses. 3. Which sentence uses the correct form of the comparative adjective? A. She is more taller than him. B. She is taller more than him. C. She is taller than him. D. She is tall more than him. The answer is C. She is taller than him. Explanation. The comparative form of the adjective, tall, is, taller, the correct structure is, subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus object. 4. Identify the sentence with the correct subject verb agreement. A. The dogs barks loudly. B. The dog bark loudly. C. The dogs bark loudly. D. The dog barks loudly. The answer is C, the dogs bark loudly. Explanation, the subject, dogs, is plural, so the verb should also be plural. The correct verb form is, bark, for plural subjects. 5. Which sentence uses the correct form of the past participle? A, she has went to the store. B, she has gone to the store. C, she has gone to the store. D, she has gone to the store. The answer is, B, she has gone to the store. Explanation. The past participle of the verb, to go, is, gone, in the present perfect tense, has slash have, is followed by the past participle form of the verb. 6. Choose the sentence with the correct use of apostrophes. A, the dog's tails were wagging. B, the dog's tails were wagging. C, the dog's tails were wagging. D, the dog's tails were wagging. The answer is, A, the dog's tails were wagging. Explanation, the apostrophe is used to indicate possession. In this sentence, it correctly shows that the tails belong to the dogs. 7. Which sentence uses the correct form of the indefinite article? A, I saw a unicorn in the park. B, I saw the unicorn in the park. C, I saw a unicorn in the park. D, I saw a unicorn in the park. The answer is, C, I saw a unicorn in the park. Explanation. The correct indefinite article for a noun starting with a consonant sound, such as, unicorn, is, A, therefore, the correct sentence is, I saw a unicorn in the park. 8. Identify the sentence with the correct use of the past tense. A, she eat dinner an hour ago. B, she ate dinner an hour ago. C, she eating dinner an hour ago. D. She eats dinner an hour ago. The answer is, B, she ate dinner an hour ago. Explanation, the past tense of the verb, to eat, is, ate, which is used correctly in this sentence to indicate an action that occurred in the past. 9. 
Choose the sentence with the correct placement of adverbs. A. He quickly ran to the store. B. He ran quickly to the store. C. Quickly he ran to the store. D. He ran to the quickly store. The answer is, B, he ran quickly to the store. Explanation. Adverbs usually come after the main verb or after the object if there is one. In this sentence, quickly, modifies the verb, ran, and comes after it. 10. Identify the sentence with the correct use of commas. A, she went to the store and bought milk, bread and eggs. B, she went to the store and bought milk, bread, and eggs. C, she went to the store and bought milk bread and eggs. D. She went to the store and bought milk, bread and eggs. The answer is, B. She went to the store and bought milk, bread, and eggs. Explanation. Commas are used to separate items in a list. They are also used before coordinating conjunctions, like, and, when joining independent clauses. 11. Which sentence demonstrates correct subject-verb agreement? A. The herd of cattle is grazing in the field. B. The herd of cattle are grazing in the field. C. The herd of cattle were grazing in the field. D. The herd of cattle was grazing in the field. The answer is, A. The herd of cattle is grazing in the field. Explanation, herd, is a collective noun, and in this context, it's considered singular, so the verb should also be singular. 12. Identify the sentence with the correct use of conjunctions. A. She likes neither coffee nor tea. B. She likes neither coffee or tea. C. She likes neither coffee nor tea. D. She likes neither coffee nor tea. The answer is, A. She likes neither coffee nor tea. Explanation. When using neither, nor, it should be followed by parallel elements. In this case, coffee, and, tea, are both nouns, making the sentence grammatically correct. 13. Choose the sentence with the correct use of the past perfect tense. A. If she would have studied harder, she would have passed the exam. B. If she had studied harder, she would pass the exam. C. If she had studied harder, she would have passed the exam. D. If she would study harder, she would have passed the exam. The answer is, C. If she had studied harder, she would have passed the exam. Explanation. The past perfect tense uses, had, followed by the past participle form of the verb, which is, gone, in this case. 14. Which sentence correctly uses the comparative form? A. She is the most smartest student in the class. B. She is the smarter student in the class. C. She is the smartest student in the class. D. She is the more smart student in the class. The answer is, C. She is the smartest student in the class. Explanation. The superlative form of smart is smartest which is correctly used to compare her intelligence to others in the class 15. identify the sentence with the correct use of the possessive pronoun a that is hers book b that is hers book c that is hers book d that is her book the answer is d that is her book explanation the possessive pronoun her correctly indicates that the book belongs to someone in this case her 16 which sentence correctly uses the conditional tense a if i will go to the party i'll bring a gift b if i go to the party i'll bring a gift c if i went to the party i'll bring a gift d if i go to the party i bring a gift The answer is, B, if I go to the party, I'll bring a gift. Explanation, the conditional tense uses, if, followed by the simple present tense to indicate a possible future action. 17. 
Choose the sentence with the correct use of the infinitive. A. She needs to to study for the exam. B. She needs to study for the exam. C. She needs study for the exam. D. She needs studied for the exam. The answer is, B. She needs to study for the exam. Explanation, the infinitive form of the verb, to study, is, to study, which is correctly used after the modal verb, needs. 18. Identify the sentence with the correct use of the gerund. A. Swimming is my favorite hobby. B. To swim is my favorite hobby. C. Swim is my favorite hobby. D. Swam is my favorite hobby. The answer is, A. Swimming is my favorite hobby. End quote. Explanation, a gerund is a verb form ending in, ing, that functions as a noun. In this sentence, swimming, acts as the subject of the sentence. 19. Choose the sentence with the correct use of the conditional perfect tense. A. If she would have studied harder, she would have passed the exam. B. If she had studied harder, she would pass the exam. C. If she had studied harder, she would have passed the exam. D. If she would study harder, she would have passed the exam. The answer is, C. If she had studied harder, she would have passed the exam. Explanation. The conditional perfect tense is formed by using, if, followed by the past perfect tense in the subordinate clause, and, would have, followed by the past participle in the main clause. 20. Identify the sentence with the correct use of the reflexive pronoun. A. He himself finished the project. B. He finished the project by himself. C. He finished the project. D. He finished the project for himself. The answer is, A. He himself finished the project. Explanation. The reflexive pronoun, himself, correctly reflects back to the subject, he, in this sentence, emphasizing that he completed the project independently. Thanks for watching this video. Did you enjoy it? Do you have any suggestions? Let me know in the comment section. See you all next time. Bye.